Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy CJ, the Barber Prodigy. Today I'm going to walk through a quick tutorial on how to do a mid fade on straight hair with only one guard. So just follow me real quick. First off, we're going to start with making our zero line. After you've made the zero line connect all around, go ahead and take your trimmers and shave upward and remove the bulk of the hair. Next, you'll grab your clippers of choice and mine for this tutorial are the Stylecraft Alphas. So you'll see I start to take the clippers and shave up. We're on the hair about a half an inch up. And I go over it to make sure that I got, you know, everything and that it's a nice even line. And as you'll see, I start to take my blade and go in and fade it. Um, some people do this later, but I prefer to go ahead and just get it out the way. You start by taking your blade and closing it all the way and taking out that zero line. And then you open your blade up about halfway and blend it in with the initial blade all the way open. So when the blade's all the way open, it's about a 0.5. So you just blend in from that zero to a 0.5 at this point. And you just keep going over it. You'll, you'll start to see it start to blend more and more. So don't get discouraged if you don't get this right the first time. This part is a little harder. It's the hardest part of the fade in my opinion. So now as you see, I got my zero guard and I'm going to go in with my lever all the way open and I'm going to go all the way up to the highest point of the fade. So after I've made it all the way around, I close the guard and then I start to go back over the fade at just about halfway up from where I just went with the guard open. And as you see, it's starting to blend already. So as I said, this, this process really doesn't take as long as you would think. I was one person who was very afraid of straight hair at first. Then I realized straight hair is actually very easy to fade. Now that I've gotten it faded, I take my clippers and go in with it all the way open, the blade all the way open, almost completely parallel to the ground. And I start to detail the fade. Little by little, just checking any areas where the blend may not be as blurry as I like it to be. And this is one of those things like you can't really, it's no cookie cutter approach. You kind of got to gauge it on your own and make sure that you know everything looks blended to you. And now it's time for the shears. For those of you who don't really feel comfortable cutting with shears, I can completely and totally relate. But it's really not too difficult. You just gotta take that time and learn how to hold your comb correctly and how to use your cutting blade and keep your fixed blade still. But yeah, this, this part's, um, it's a little harder to explain. You kinda gotta gauge it by each customer's hair, ask them what length they want it cut at, and then start to go in and, and cut it at that length. And as you see, I don't just stop there. I take my shears and detail some of the hairs that stick up around the back of the head as well. And now that he is faded, I go in with my hose spray and prep the skin. You missed it, I did do a hot towel on him as well. So his skin is, is ready for the lineup. So I start taking my trimmers and attacking that line. Try to be gentle with this one. Cause one thing I noticed, man, if you're not holding these trimmers right and you're not, you know, using the correct amount of pressure, you can mark up their skin. And sometimes you, you notice it the next time they come back, if they come back, that they have this line. And normally that comes from applying too much pressure with the trimmer. So really be careful of that. As you can see, I comb his hair different directions because I want to make sure that no matter which way he combs his hair, his line is still even all across and he still has a sharp lineup. And after you're done with the trimmers, please don't forget to go over it again with the razor. You know, the razor adds the extra finesse. It's what helps the lineup last longer in between haircuts and the clients really appreciate that. So take the time and do the work on this one. Don't skip any steps. So I was finished with the lineup and my client said that he would also like a part. Now, when I do my parts, 
I try to use only the corner of the trimmer because it gives a sharper line as opposed to using the whole T-blade. Sometimes the T-blade won't cut the way you want it to when you're trying to cut through straight hair. So I definitely recommend using the corners if you run into that issue because the corners get it done just as easily. And be sure to go over it with the razor to make it crisp. Okay, so now it's time for the final touch up. So I go and take my trimmers and clean the hair that was under the cape off the back of his neck. And since he is a straight haired client, I do use a shaver on him because it doesn't cause him to bump up. And you wanna be mindful of that as well. You don't use a shaver on every client because you ask them if they have used it before or something similar to make sure that it won't cause skin irritation later. And that's it, we're all done. So as you can see, it did come out crispy. The line is sharp all the way across. The fade is blurry all the way around. And that's, that's, that's all it is to it. So I know I sped this up for the sake of making sure that you guys didn't have to wait too, too long. But if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, any way you can to help support this channel and help me keep producing content. I appreciate you guys, and you have a blessed day.